It's called the Budget Challenge. It's an online resource where you, the citizen, get to pick and choose what money goes where in the budget. The question is, would you be a penny pincher or a super spender? The Budget Challenge is a first of its kind experiment. It's only a week old. It's so new that at least one city council member did not know about it until we called asking about it. City spokesperson Melissa Talbert says the goal is to get input from the taxpayers in order to shape the next budget. We are trying to get input in several different ways um, at some public meetings, um, just via email, hotline, that sort of thing. But we wanted something that if somebody didn't want to come to a meeting and they wanted to be able to do something at home on their own time but still provide input, this was a way to do that. Anyone can access the budget challenge on the city's website. It breaks the budget down to $100 with each dollar representing 1% of the budget. You can cut or increase anything you want in the budget, except the deficit. Some citizens think the city might be onto something here. As a taxpayer, I feel like you should have a, a say in how the, the tax dollars are being spent. For those who think the city won't seriously consider information gathered from this budget challenge, Talbert says think again. We really do want input. Um, in this particular endeavor, we're trying to keep it at a pretty high level. Resident Walter Fulton says he'd be more than happy to try his hand at shaping the city budget. Yes, I would. Just to get the understanding of how city government, county government works. Do you? Folks are welcome to come out and give their two cents on the budget at the Wilmington City Budget Meeting. In Wilmington, Chris Allen, WWAY News Channel 3.